Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to walk you through the process of installing controlled web panel on Alma Linux operating system. You can also use other Linux based distribution like Rocky Linux, Oracle Linux and CentOS Stream. CWP panel is a popular web hosting control panel that simplifies websites and server management tasks. Here I am going to discuss some points regarding the CWP panel. Let's start with the best part. CWP panel offer a free version. That's right. You can get all the essential features you need to manage your website without breaking the bank. But if you are looking for an extra edge, CWP also provide a pro version called CWP Pro. It delivers the latest CWP iteration with the lightning fast automatically security fixes. Ensure your website is stay safe and next is if you are familiar with the cpanel another popular control panel then cwp panel will be feel right at home it offers a similar user interface and functionality making the transition smooth and familiar so whether you are cpanel world veteran or a newcomer to web hosting cwp panel is a fantastic choice before we dive into the installation, let's talk about what you will need. To run CWP panels smoothly, you will want a first installation of a compatible operating system. This could be a CentOS, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux or similar distribution. Make sure you have at least 2 GB of RAM, 20 GB of free disk space on your server. The, the good news is that the CWP panel boosts extensive compatibility. It officially supports a whopping 8 version of Alma Linux, CentOS Stream, and Rocky Linux and Oracle Linux. This gives you a lot of flexibility when you're choosing your preferred operating system. While CWP panel scripts are also available for the version 9 of these operating systems, it is currently in beta. This means there may be a bug and unexpected behavior. For the most stable experience, we highly mm. recommend it sticking. While CWP panel script are also available for the version 9 of these operating system, it is currently in beta. This means there may be a bug and unexpected behavior. For the most stable experience, we highly mm. recommend it sticking with the installation itself. First, logged in in your hosting server through SSH root at the rate 192.168.1.13. This is my server IP, and in your case, the hosting provider will you provide a IP address. So here I am putting the root password, and you can see I am using the Alma Linux 8.9. So let's proceed with the installation step. The first step is to ensure that server meets the minimum requirement for the installing CWP and make sure your server is up to date by running the yum update command. Yum update and a hyphen y will update all the software packages and in your server. So here you can see the 515 MB total downloaded sign, it will take some time. So I am pausing the screen for a moment. There an update in progress and it will take a little while to finish. Once it's done, I will back and running again. In the meantime, feel free to take. Here update has been done. Now we can also verify to again run the update yum update command and the output is nothing to do means all software and packages has been updated now so now we have to proceed for the another point so next point is SA Linux in most of the operating system Linux based operating system there will be there can be a SA Linux can be and in enforcing mode so 
we can verify it through the get enforce command this is enforcing mode so we will here i will recommend slinux policy should be in disabled mode and operating should be have a valid host name also so first we will we will go in the configuration files of the slinux and make it disabled and make it disabled here you can see the get enforce command will still show the enforcing mode because slinux policy make changes when the system will reboot it so we will make we will reboot our operating system before reboot our operating system i am going to discuss one more point about the we should have also a valid host name so that you can access the control web panel cwp panel interface by the host name also name ctl host name ctl command will show you the computer host name so currently it is set on the local host dot local domain here i have a command i have also written in my slide host name ctl set hyphen host name and what subdomain you will use so here i am going to use cwppanel.example.com means you have a one domain there you you should have create a subdomain and point into this server here i am setting my host name cwppanel.example.com now you can see the host name host name ctl the host name has been updated the host name mostly try to configure like in fqdn format fqdn format is a fully qualified domain name so that you can access your control panel through the host name okay so you can also ping your host name so that you can verify your host name is pointing to correct server now after making changes updating operating system making slinux configuration changes and updating update host name at last i am going to reboot my server so reboot i am rebooted my system now next we need to download the cwp panel script installation script so so that again you have u s r s local and src now i am into this path and execute wb wget command with the cpanel installation script you can also take this official script from the official website of control web panel control web panel through in the installation is success first i hope i will need the wget command which is not installed i think so yeah wget command is not available so before uh, executing the wget and installation script we have to install wget command wget so here W get command will show it is available for the installation and now it's get installed. Okay, perfectly. W get command is installed now. 
the path is USR bin wget. So again, I'm going to write the wget command to download the script. Here I can see the HTTP double slash CentOS web panel dot com CWP hyphen EAL8 and hyphen latest. Okay, here you can see the script has been downloaded. You can start the installation process by executing the SH and download the script finally. So here I am executing this script and this will initiate this will initiate the CWP panel installation which will guide you through the setup process. So this will take some time. I hope uh, this is completely depends on the internet speed and hardware resources. So I am pausing uh, the screen for a moment. Uh, there's an installation in will be in progress. So once it's done, I will back up running Again, in the meantime, feel free to take a short break. Permission will show on the output. You can just copy and paste in the some safe place. And after the installation complete, you can access the CWP panel by navigating to the server IP address and followed by the port. Log in using the default after installation done. The access information will show on the output, and you can just copy and paste in some safe place on your system. You can access your CWP panel by navigating this URL. So you can replace your uh, with your IP public IP or here is my IP is 192.168.1.13. Either if your host name is propagated, then you can also use the HTTPS cwp panel dot example dot com and followed by the port 2031 or 2030 it can be so 192 168 1.13 so the output will fetch your public ip so here in my case the i am using the local vm so the internal ip will work so you can see here I am copying the access URL and paste it in my browser and click on the advanced tab and proceed with this. So login using the default username root and the password provided during the installation of your operating system. So here I'm putting my password. Okay, great. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the interface and configure any additional setting according to your need. Here I can see the panel is showing information like uh, a DNS and host name and my shared IP and server public IP, server internal IP. So here shared IP is the public IP of my server. So port number of SSH, Apache server, PHP version. So you can uh, just explore these things. Here, here I'm clicking on the PHP version, editing the PHP version, which is a lower version of PHP 5.6.36. So here I can uh, change or I can switch to the latest version 8.3.0 and now I can 
save and build. I hope now you found this CWP setup tutorial useful in setting up your web hosting environment. But I can understand that setting up a server can sometimes be tricky and you might save have a specific configuration need or questions. So if you need more videos about Linux or web hosting related want me to cover a specific topic in more detail. So don't hesitate to drop a comment below and also and maybe your comment might just inspire our my next video where we dive in deeper into CWP configuration and address your query. Thank you for being part of this video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please share, like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials.